All right, morning. Welcome to this week's video. A very, very wet and flooded Waveney Valley this week. So we're down at Three Rivers today because that is pretty much the only place that I can launch uh, today because everywhere is absolutely flooded. We're out for a little adventure with a micro raft today. So we're just going to get the dry suit on, get down to the water, and let's just go have a look at the Waveney Valley, what it looks like when it's flooded. <music> Thanks for joining us. We're supposed to be out fishing today, but as you can see, the water clarity is not that good. So we're out on the River Waveney. We've launched at Three Rivers, uh, basically because it's the only place I could get into. Everywhere else is completely flooded. The whole Waveney Valley has flooded, and it's very early actually, because normally it's sort of December, January, February that the, uh, the Waveney Valley floods. It's a complete floodplain. And as you can see from the pictures there, the whole area is, uh, is completely underwater. It has gone down a little bit, but it's still very, very high at the moment. And I'm pretty sure that I can actually get into some of the fields uh, on the pack raft today. So uh, we're going to head up river, up towards Ellingham, maybe stop at the pub and uh, just have a bit of an explore and uh, see what it's like paddling a river that's completely flooded. Well, we're actually on the footpath at the moment. There is still a fair bit of water coming off the, off the fields there. And I think I might be able to get onto that field over there. Let's uh, go and have a look. In the summer, this is where a lot of people sit enjoy the food by the river and now look at it there's still a lot of water to drain off how deep is it i can just touch the bottom with a paddle Well, this will be a first. I think we can literally paddle into the pub. Do you know, I think watching your local flood or burn down is one of the worst things ever that you could experience in life. I think we'll go see if they need a hand. Hello, Martin. How are you doing? All right. Just, uh, just doing a generator service. Right, OK. As you do. Yeah. Do you need a hand with anything I at all? we're OK, Martin. Thank you. sure? You. Not a lot to do. We did, we did as much prep as we could. Yeah. There's a few things floating around, but not right. much. So. OK. And well, inside it's dry. Right. It went up really close. It's, it's, I, I think, think it's we're supposed, still supposed to get some more, aren't we, later on as well? Rain? Yeah. Yeah, we had 10 mil last night, which didn't help. But at least Graham was saying that uh, it hasn't gone in the pub. That's the main thing. You can imagine the damage that this would do down here. But hey ho, luckily the pub's not damaged at all. We just got to hope that we don't get any more rain, but there is more forecast, unfortunately. That's the thing here. So this pub pretty much floods all the whole front of the pub, like you can see out here. That pretty much floods every single year. Uh, there's only been a couple of times where it's actually gone into the pub. So uh, as you can see from that, the pub is actually is actually raised up slightly from uh, from ground level. So it does stop a bit of the water ingress into the pub. But uh, as the pub shut, we'll do what any Englishman does 
and just make do. So let's have something to eat. Well, we'll make do with a chicken curry today, I think. Well, that makes a difference to have a coffee like this down at the locks. <laughs> Right, that's all done. Time for the chicken curry. If you're interested in having any of these real termat products, there's a link uh, in the description there below to, to Basecamp Foods, and you can get a 10% discount on orders over £20 with free delivery on any of the Basecamp products. So please do give that a go. And these are probably one of the best outdoor meals that you can get. Right, let's go and explore some more. Well, I can't even get under the bridge. But as I've said in loads and loads of videos before, the great thing about pack rafting is you can just take the footpath. So when I'm doing my pack rafting route on the Waveney, this is the footpath that I normally walk. And it's nearly a paddle's depth deep. I wonder whether we can get all the way across this field. Well, I'm glad I put the dry suit on today anyway. That's the first, first time this year we're pulling this out of the bag. It's a really nice little dry suit actually. This is the uh, Amphibio pack suit and it's nice and lightweight, packs up tiny and it's perfect for, for pack rafting. Absolutely brilliant. Right, we've got a fallen down tree here and I think it's blocking the whole of the river. So I'll have to go off piste. Some old chicken of the woods there, they look a little bit past their sell by date. Well, it's a little bit easier paddling this way, I can tell you. I just hope this rain's going to stop and uh, all of this water can drain off the fields and uh, head out to sea. We've, uh, we've had a lot of rain, a lot of flooding. Uh, we've been quite lucky down here really. No one's lost their lives down here and I feel sorry for the families of the people up north where people have lost their lives because of the flooding. Um, it's something I've always wanted to do, paddle the, uh, the, the flooded Waveney Valley down here and uh, I'm glad that I've come out today to do it. But uh, you know, if you're doing something like this, please be careful, you know, look out for strainers, and barbed wire fences. You've got to be very, very careful, really. Luckily, there is a bit of a flow on the river here, but it's not, it's not massive, it's manageable. I can paddle this, so, uh, so yeah, I've really enjoyed coming out and doing this today. So my name's Martin, and I'm out hiking, pack rafting, fishing, and uh, doing bushcraft all the time. So please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos. There's a couple of videos up there for you to take a look at if you want to, and we'll catch you next time on the next one.